Imagine for a second that you are standing in front of two piles of money. On your left, you have a pile that is slowly burning away bit by bit, and on your right, you have a pile that is multiplying every single hour. Now imagine that these piles of money are actually your cattle. What if I told you that the way you are putting food into the trough right now is likely the burning pile? You might think you are feeding them well, but the scale does not lie, and the bank account definitely does not forgive errors. There is a silent thief in the cattle industry that steals pounds of meat and gallons of milk right from under your nose. And the worst part is that you probably believe this thief is your friend. We are going to embark on a 100-day journey that compares traditional feeding versus TMR, or total mixed ration. The results we are about to analyze are not just surprising, they are absolutely terrifying for anyone who is still doing things the old-fashioned way, without a strategy. If you want to stop guessing and start growing massive animals, you need to understand the biology and the math that I am about to reveal. Stay with me, because in a few minutes I am going to share a specific mistake regarding fiber length that ruins even the best diet plans and almost nobody talks about it. Welcome back to the place where we turn genetics into profit. When we talk about traditional feeding, we are usually referring to the method where forages and concentrates are fed separately or where cattle graze on pasture and receive a supplement bucket later in the day. It feels natural. It feels like how our grandfathers did it. You throw the hay in the ring and then you dump the grain in the bunk. But here is the brutal truth about bovine psychology and biology. Cows are like spoiled children when given the choice. They are sorters. If you present a cow with long hay and delicious grain side by side, she will use her tongue to sort through the feed. She will eat the candy, which is the grain, and she will leave the vegetables, which is the fiber. You might look at the bunk and think she ate a balanced meal, but she did not. She ate a meal that is going to spike the acidity in her stomach and cause a condition called subacute ruminal acidosis. This is the first major difference we see in our 100-day comparison. In the traditional feeding group during the first 30 days, we often see what looks like rapid satisfaction. The cattle run to the bunk when the grain truck arrives. They look happy. But inside their rumen, a war is being fought. Because they consume a large amount of starch all at once without enough fiber to buffer it, the pH level in the rumen drops drastically. When the pH drops, the beneficial bacteria that digest fiber begin to die off. This leads to a cycle where the animal feels sick for a few hours, stops eating, and then eats again when it feels better. This roller coaster of intake destroys feed efficiency. You are paying for feed that the animal cannot properly digest because you killed the bacteria responsible for digestion. It is literally flushing money down the drain. Now let us look at the TMR or Total Mixed Ration approach. Think of TMR as a massive casserole where every single ingredient is chopped, mixed, and blended together so thoroughly that the cow cannot separate the corn from the hay or the minerals from the protein. Every single bite is nutritionally identical to the previous one. This is engineering, not just farming. When we start the clock on day one for the TMR group, something different happens. The cattle do not just rush the bunk for the candy. They eat a consistent, steady diet. Because every mouthful contains the necessary fiber along with the energy, the pH level in the rumen stays almost perfectly flat. A stable rumen is a factory of efficiency. The microbes are happy, and when the microbes are happy, the cow converts feed into muscle and fat at a rate that traditional feeding simply cannot match. But here is where it gets interesting and controversial. Many small producers say that TMR is too expensive. They say they cannot afford the mixer wagon or the tractor time. I want you to listen very closely to this next part because it is the difference between a hobby and a business we tracked the waste. In a traditional feeding system, specifically with round bales and separate grain troughs, the waste factor can range from 10% up to 20%. That is 20% of your investment being trampled into the mud or pooped on. In a well-managed TMR system, waste drops to below 5%. Over 100 days with 50 head of cattle, that 5% difference pays for the equipment. 
the illusion of saving money by not buying a mixer is actually costing you thousands in wasted forage. Before we dive into the shocking weight gain numbers at the 60-day mark and the hidden danger of moisture content, I need you to join our community. We are building an army of informed producers here. If you want to dominate the market with the biggest animals, you need to be part of this. Go ahead and click that subscribe button for biggest bulls and cow right now. Do not let your competition get the edge on you. Join us and let us keep learning. Now let us fast forward to day 60 of our comparison. The visual difference begins to be undeniable. The cattle on the traditional diet are growing, yes, but you will notice inconsistency. The dominant steers have eaten more than their share of the grain, while the shy or submissive animals are falling behind. You have a herd that is uneven. Some are fat and some are still framey. This is a nightmare for marketing, because when you go to sell, buyers want uniformity. If you send a truckload of cattle that look like a mismatched puzzle, you will get penalized on the price. On the other hand, looking at the TMR group at day 60 is like looking at a cloned army. Because the feed is mixed and difficult to sort, the dominant cows cannot pick out the best parts. They have to eat the whole mix. This leaves the same high-quality mix for the timid cows who eat later. The result is that the bottom end of your herd catches up to the top end. Your average daily gain or ADG skyrockets. In our observation over 100 days, traditional feeding might yield an average daily gain of 2.2 to 2.5 pounds, depending on genetics. The TMR group with the exact same ingredients just processed differently consistently hits 3.5 to 4 pounds of gain per day. Do the math. Over 100 days, that is a difference of 150 pounds of extra saleable weight per animal. If you have 100 head of cattle, that is 15,000 pounds of beef. At current market prices, that is enough to buy a new truck. Are you willing to walk away from a new truck just because you did not want to mix the feed? However, there is a trap in TMR that catches so many people off guard. It is the moisture trap. You cannot just throw dry hay and corn into a mixer and hope for the best. The mix needs to be sticky enough that the ingredients bind together, but not so wet that it spoils. If the mix is too dry, the cows will sort it anyway, and all your work is for nothing. If it is too wet, their dry matter intake drops because they physically cannot fit enough water volume in their stomachs to get the nutrients they need. The magic number usually sits between 45 and 55% dry matter. But how do you know if you have hit it without a lab? Here's a practical tip you can use tomorrow. It is called the squeeze test. Take a handful of your TMR mix and squeeze it as hard as you can. When you open your hand, the ball of feed should slowly fall apart. If it falls apart instantly like dust, it is too dry. If it stays in a tight ball and juice runs down your arm, it is too wet and you are losing performance. Let us talk about the day 100 reveal. The finish line, the cattle in the traditional group have good coats, but you can see the difference in the rib fill. They have what we call a hay belly in some cases, where the rumen is distended, but the muscle mass along the top line is not maximized. The TMR cattle look like tanks. They are solid, they are filled out, their manure is consistent, which tells us their digestion was perfect. But the most aggressive, persuasive point I can make to you is about the liver. When we look at data from slaughterhouses, cattle fed traditionally with high separate grain often have liver abscesses due to those spikes in acid we talked about earlier. A condemned liver is lost profit and it indicates the animal was under stress. The TMR cattle typically have clean, healthy livers. This means the animal was not just growing, it was thriving. You are not just a farmer, you are a guardian of animal welfare, and TMR is frankly the more humane way to feed high-energy diets. There is another layer to this social engineering of your herd. It is about habituation. Cattle on TMR are calmer. Why? Because they are not desperate. They know the feed is always the same. They do not rush and fight because they do not fear missing out on the candy. A calmer herd is safer for you to work around. It reduces the risk of injury to you and your family. How much is your safety worth? I would argue it is priceless. Now I promise to tell you about the fiber length error that ruins everything. It is called overmixing. 
You get your fancy new mixer wagon, you load it up, and you leave it running while you go do another chore or check a fence. You come back 20 minutes later and you feed. You think you did a good job. You did not. You pulverize the fiber. If the pieces of hay and forage are chopped too small, they pass through the rumen too quickly. They do not provide the scratch factor needed to stimulate the rumen wall. This creates a mat of sludge in the stomach, rather than a healthy floating mat of forage. The result is again acidosis and lost weight. You effectively turned your expensive TMR into a bowl of oatmeal, which is terrible for a cow's digestion. Mixing time is critical. Usually three to five minutes after the last ingredient is added is enough. Do not overprocess. We also need to address the mineral balance. In a traditional system, you usually put out a mineral block or loose mineral in a feeder. Do you know exactly how much each cow is eating? No, you do not. Some cows love salt and eat too much, others ignore it completely. In a TMR system, the minerals are dissolved and coated onto the forage. Every bite contains the exact microgram of copper, zinc, and selenium needed for immune function. This means fewer foot rot cases, fewer respiratory issues, and less money spent on antibiotics. The 100-day comparison shows a drastic reduction in veterinary bills for the TMR group. So when you calculate profit, do not just look at the weight gain, look at the money you did not have to pay the vet. Let us recap the aggressive reality of this comparison. Traditional feeding is comfortable, it is low-tech, and it requires less initial management thought but it is inefficient, wasteful, and leaves massive potential profit on the table. It subjects your cattle to nutritional spikes and valleys that hurt their biology. TMR requires investment, it requires management, and it requires strict attention to moisture and mixing times. But the return on investment is undeniable. We are talking about 30 to 40% better efficiency. We are talking about heavier animals in less time. We are talking about uniformity that commands a premium at the market. If you are sitting there thinking that this does not apply to you because you only have 10 cows, I want you to reconsider. You can practice TMR principles even without a giant wagon. You can mix forage and grain in smaller batches or use tumble mixers. The principle of balancing the bite is what matters. Do not let scale be your excuse for mediocrity. The market is ruthless. Feed costs are rising, land costs are rising. The only variable you can control to save your business is efficiency. If you are not efficient, you are extinct. It is that simple. The 100-day test proves that biology rewards consistency, it rewards balance, and it rewards the farmer who is willing to learn and adapt. Do not be the person who looks back in five years wondering why the farm went under. Be the person who mastered the science of the rumen and built a legacy of massive, high-quality cattle. I know we have covered a lot of technical ground here, from rumen pH to dry matter intake calculations. It can be overwhelming, but you do not have to do it alone. This channel is designed to be your digital consultant. We are going to keep bringing you these deep dives, these hard truths, and these practical guides because we believe that educated cattlemen are the backbone of society. We have only scratched the surface of nutrition. In our next deep dive, we are going to expose the truth about protein supplements and why most people are buying the wrong type of protein for their specific breed. You do not want to miss that because it could save you thousands on your feed bill next winter. So here is what I need you to do right now. If you found value in this, if you learned something that made you rethink your strategy, then you are exactly the kind of person we want in this community. Scroll down and hit that subscribe button for Biggest Bulls and Cow. But do not just subscribe. Leave a comment below. Tell me, are you Team Traditional or Team TMR? Have you tried switching and failed? Let us discuss it. Share this video with your neighbor or your grazing group. Let us raise the standard of cattle production together. We are here to grow together as responsible and profitable ranchers. Subscribe now and let us keep learning. See you in the next video.